every card, Jacob's Christmas wish is coming true. It's phenomenal because naturally I always thought he was special and now the world knows he's special. Strangers have given Jacob this, a reason to smile and a message that he's not alone as he faces his final weeks of terminal cancer. Hey bud, how's it going? Tens of thousands of cards so far and more are still arriving, many with Jacob's favorite penguins. Look at that thing. Oh, he's so cute. And they're not just sending cards. Merry Christmas, Jacob. Thousands of gifts, even musical messages. Merry Christmas to you, Jacob. I'm sending all my love. You. Jacob has been fighting neuroblastoma since 2014. His story and spirit inspired the McMaster family from Woodbridge, Ontario to send cards. This little boy asked for a very, very simple, straightforward request. And you know what the least we can do is to make sure his parents know and he knows he's not alone. So I'm going to do something to lift up a family, a young man, and I think that lifts us up too. 11-year-old Jillian Talsman from Vancouver and her mother, Daniela, inspired by Jacob's bravery. There's often things we can't do to help others. Like, it seems so big. But that was just one small thing that anybody can do, just the cost of a po postage stamp. This giant card came from staff, students, and faculty at the University of Guelph. Plus, they are sending at least 100 more. Wow. This is Look all for you. Him. This is all for you, honey. At the hospital, Jacob watched out the window as more than 100 police cruisers passed in a parade of support, complete with carols. It's the one right in it's the black. Oh, the black one? All of this for a little boy whose story and simple request inspired others to answer with love. I always knew he was going to do something good. And in nine years, he's done things that people in their 90s haven't accomplished by bringing people together and having people who have differences and whatever put that aside and say, look at this little boy. Let's, let's do something to show him that we're thinking of him and that he's touched us. Allison Vushnik, Global News.